What's up Stripe Nation? Blake Alberts here with B&B Lawn Care. Today we're at my buddy Josh Sutton's house, the HQ of Sutton Outdoor. Super cool shop, we'll look at it here in a minute. But we are finally, long time coming, installing the Amerideck power deck. So check this out. So this is a dump insert going into the back of the work truck. You can see there that they're taking off the tailgate. And uh, we're gonna get this puppy installed. So part one was installing the airbags. We had to get these airbags into the, to the back of the truck so we could adjust the height of the back of the truck if we put a bunch of weight in it that we're not gonna be sagging. So make sure you check out that video. Um, but today, we're installing this bad boy. So we're cleaning out the bed of the truck. I, I, it was a mess about a month ago, but we've been slowly cleaning it out. But you know, there's always gas cans and American boots. So we ran into our first issue. We can't get the spare tire off. The tool that Ford has just didn't work. So they're uh, they're gonna cut this tire off, the bracket. All right, so the last thing we did was run the wire underneath the truck from the bed and installed the circuit breaker just so we don't blow fuses. Right, Wally, is that what we did? That's right, it's to protect your electrical system so it can't be overloaded. Now we're hooking up to the positive side of the battery so we can activate the dump system. It's highly important that you protect your wrench at all times, not to touch anything metal, or you'll get the shock of a bit of a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we've got it installed. The basic dummy down version, it was very simple, a lot easier than I thought. The only thing we had trouble with is I don't have the key for the spare tire, so we had to just kind of take a grinder and find a way to loosen this tire so we could access underneath of it put those brackets and bolt it to the bed. So basically we bolted it here and up there, ran the wires, and it was a, actually a really easy installation. If we would have had that key for the spare tire, this would have would have taken probably what, like an hour you think, Tyler? Like it, it, it was really, really simple. And this part is actually pretty light. I mean, we, we moved it just Tyler and I off of the skid steer. So the installation, was a lot easier than uh, than I was thinking. I think it just kind of looked intimidating. So it's ran, then you have your control here, and everything's kind of contained in this, and then the wires run through here into the battery. So we're gonna hook up the dump deck and try it out. All right, so the very last thing we need to do is put these feet right here so it lifts it up a little bit so we can go under there and hook it up. All right, we're on a Dora episode. Can you guys help me find something that can lift this deck up? Good job! <laughs> All right, let's put these feet under here. I think the second setting is probably gonna be, ah, I would do the tallest actually, I think. But that might be too tall, I, I don't know. Hey, it's got to go up a little more. Perfect. All right, so we're down here. I guess this is our little testing area. So what we did was we bolted in the main mechanism down here onto the truck. Then we just went and put the dump bed in it and put, I don't know, what is this, Kyle? Uh, three scoops of gravel, which is probably how much weight? Ton and a half. Ton and a half. 3,3500 pounds, maybe. 3,3500 pounds. And so our airbags, we were testing out the level. They're on five right now. 
and the truck is perfectly level so the airlift system is working really really well and we can even take the remote and just go up and down however high we want it so here's going to be the real test to see if uh, this dumps the gravel That's a, a pretty good amount of gravel yeah. that fit into that thing. I think the only problem we had was we had this down to start off and it was gonna hit, it was gonna go in between my bumper. So we just had to hold it here until it got past a certain point. So I think my bumper's just a little bit, and it was just loaded down a ton, but my gosh, I'm actually really, really impressed. And I think everybody here is impressed, right? That's awesome. All right, so when you're with a bunch of landscapers and we just took a few hours out of our day to get this thing installed, you gotta play with it. So we just put, I Kyle said 3,500 pounds. We were adding it up. We think it's more like 4,000 pounds of gravel on the back of that. Really impressed with that. Now we're gonna put a four-wheeler just for, cause why not, you know? So check this out. So this thing actually, it dumps and if you continue going, it goes all the way to the ground. So, Josh is gonna run his four-wheeler up here. Let's do it. Let's do it, Bobby. This is called how to steal a four-wheeler. Or like Josh said, be a four-wheeler repo guy. This is awesome, dude. How cool is that? <laughs> Alright, thanks for the four wheeler, Josh. Yep. See you, man. Check that out. How cool is that, man? That is so sweet. All right, so we're back. We have the trailer hooked up with the dump deck on. This thing, I am really, really impressed with it. I'm actually like super happy about it. And I think it's gonna be awesome. I think I'm gonna build up some sides here maybe. And this is gonna be incredible for leaf season. So I would say we're about two or three weeks out from leaf season. The leaves are really starting to fall, but there's still a ton on the trees. So I wanna build up some sides. And basically, we'll just have the bagger in the trailer and we'll go dump it in here. And then at the end of the day, we can just dump it right into the dump pile. So super big shout out to Ameradeck. This is called a power deck. In the description, I'll put links to their website and you guys can check this stuff out. This is a really sweet setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of video. Only problem of the day was in the truck, I didn't have the key to get the spare tire out. So that was the only problem. The installation of the power deck is actually really, really simple. Literally the only thing was my spare tire on the truck. I just didn't have the key for it. So super impressed with this. So super shout out to Airlift and super shout out to Ameridec for sponsoring this product to make this setup become a reality. So I'm super excited about it and I'm super impressed by both of those systems. Check out the description down below. I'll put links to all of these products and we'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.